It's cheerleader season! The last hoo hoo hoorah for bosoms before winter forces them back into hibernation, leaving men and lesbians alike in a lurch, longing for one more glimpse of those sweet, sweet Mexican pinatas. Some people say cheerleaders aren't needed. Well, I say, is the pepper bar a Quiznos needed? No. Does a turtle need a home? I don't think so. Does a poop need a fart? Most of the time it does, but occasionally not. Some people think cheerleaders are stupid. Well, I say they're as diverse as the athletes they have sex with. Some smart, like Peyton Manning. Others dumb, like Ben Roethlisberger, in that she'll have sex with you in a porta john outside of Heinz Field. So, NFL cheerleaders, I salute you with your high kicks, low cut t-shirts, and unending smiles, you make me proud to say a woman may not be able to play in the NFL, but they can stand on the sidelines blindly cheering for a team of sexual deviants. Owner of Segway died, Jim Heseldin, when he, went, when he told his wife he was going for a future walk and rolled the Segway off a cliff. <laughs> Oh, that's the news you love to hear. Yeah, you know, I don't Absolutely. understand how that even happens. Why don't you just take a step back and not be on a Segway anymore? Good point. You know they found the Segway before they found him? Oh, yeah, was it knocking on the sheriff's door? And the sheriff's like, what's up, Segway? And he was like, ow, ow, ow. And they're like, what's that Segway? A man fell down a cliff? Well, we better go find him. <laughs> Rich Cronin died from LFO fame or oh, Jesus uh, in fame, whatever you call whatever it. Whatever the hell you want to I'm happy it. as hell he's dead, I'll tell you that. What's that song you sang? I like girls that wear Abercrombie and Fitch. Ah, oh, Jesus. You know this guy is single-handedly responsible for the trench coat mafia? Boot, boot, boot! I mean, it drove me crazy. <laughs> Absolutely. I like girls that wear Abercrombie and Fitch. I like girls that would talk to me in Packer Zubas with shirts that said number one hugger. You like but, girls who wear Fatacrombie and Fitch. Call it what you will. Oh, man. You know, some people say this guy died of leukemia. I say he died of a little something I like to call having it too good for too long, goddammit. Oh, yeah. It's Cronin's oh. disease. Cronin's disease. <laughs> It's not bad. Oh man, you know. Eddie, I know there's one close to your heart. Tony died. Curtis died from the gay gladiator movies from ever ago. Jimmy Lee Curtis's father. Man had semen so strong he gave her two sets of genitals. Doubles. Oh man, man, some for men, some for girls, some for you know anybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that wraps up. Guess who died? We'll see you next month. Aye aye. I'm sure people ask you all the time, but how would you describe Oprah? Uh, incredibly voluptuous, like a big juicy hamburger, uh, like a buffalo or uh, a deer, or something that's not the norm. Wow, sounds like you had sex with her. Of course. Oh my, bit ooky, how was it? I want to get the, the R&B rhythm into it. How has that affected your relationship with your wife? It irritates my wife, because when I get home, I'll put my head down, and in five minutes I'm out. Well sure, you're tired, I mean, after all that sex with the big O. Has there been anything new arousing you lately? Anything maybe I would be into? Something that Luke Kissel could jank it to? That's a very interesting question. I'm, I'm reading a lot about pregnancy, believe it or not. Why is that? I'm very interested in why women who are the army of health in this country don't really study their bodies until they get pregnant. But when they get pregnant, they learn all about it. Wowza! Fascinating stuff. Who's your favorite Prager's porn star right now? my son. Sounds like you have a very close relationship. I wish I had one with my father. <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> Hypothetically speaking, imagine you're working in the hospital, gal comes into the ER, stab wound in the neck, but you really want to give her to the old <laughs> and a bit of old <laughs> where would you go? Kansas City, Kansas. Wow, thanks so much for being here, Dr. Ross. It's really been a treat and um, you know, you gotta come back sometime. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor. Uh, just off the record, have you ever slept with a celebrity? You know, maybe someone you wanna tell me about? A little celeb, someone big? Bruce Springsteen, but just once, and I'd love to spend more time with him. Whoa, the boss? One of the great toys of my life. Well, man, I'll tell you, tramps like us, baby, we were born to fuck the boss. What about Clarence? Of course. Nice.